What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to show you 10 duct tape life hacks. Let's check this out. You know how it's nearly impossible to get this little dirt onto your scooper. Again, grab some duct tape and stick it onto your scooper and the floor, just like this. and get all the dirt into your scooper. Then grab a duct tape, pull it off, and you're good to go. Do you know that duct tape is a really good fire tender or fire starter? Then what I'm gonna do is grab my flint and make a bunch of shavings. Grab a piece of duct tape and fold it up just like this. Just like this. So now all I have to do is strike it and get that going on fire and guess what? Look how well this duct tape burns. Now I have this duct tape burning, I can start any fire pretty easily. Look at this, this is, looks like a giant fire match. Pretty amazing, huh? So what I like to do for my survival flint, I like to grab some duct tape and roll it up on my flint. So I always have duct tape for fire starting. And what I'm gonna do is get it really tight. So that's what you wanna do. Next to your flint, wrap it up duct tape and starting a fire never been easier. Here's pretty funny life hack for you. If you got a chair that doesn't have a cup holder and you don't have any tables on your porch or on your dock, get a used up duct tape and what are we gonna do is grab duct tape and tape it over just like this and then just duct it to a handle just like this so now I got myself duct tape drink holder so now when I'm fishing on the dock or whatever I don't have to look for my water right next to me if you ever get a blister in your brand new shoes and you don't have a band-aid grab some duct tape and what works really well is to tape your blister with the duct tape. So if you have to use your shoes that blister you up, you can still use it because now the tape is slippery. It will relieve you from so much pain. So last time I had to be in a convention center and I didn't have any other shoes for three days. Duct tape saved my life pretty much. Same thing with your flashlight. Grab your flashlight when you're gonna go camping and wrap it around with the duct tape so you always have a duct tape just in case in an emergency you can wrap it up a lot for the flashlight. So roll it up just like that. You can keep going of course but I think that's enough for me. So now I have a small roll of a duct tape on my flashlight. So if I'm cramping and something got ripped off or I need to start the fire or I got a blister I have a lot of duct tape and look I don't need to put the whole giant piece of a duct tape in my camping bag. I have plenty over here. Pretty awesome, huh? If you're going to share a car with somebody and you know they're gonna drive it all the time grab a little piece of a duct tape and mark it right here and then the other stick, stick it in somewhere right here. So that way if somebody used your car, they're gonna push it in. And you know what sucks about driving a car? If somebody messed with your seat, it's never comfortable. It's so hard to find the same spot it was on. So that way you always know when to stop or where you're gonna stay at. So you always remember your comfortable spot. What you wanna do is grab multiple pieces of duct tape and stick them like that on top of each other so here's what you want to do this is supposed to open this way so this way you're gonna stick on this side All right you're gonna stick it not on a glass just on a lid and then you're gonna fold it this way down here make sure it's all glued up and then you just want to fold this one right here together so it will be sturdier plus 
it's not gonna be as sticky on your hand make sure it's all sticked up and just grab it with your left hand or whatever and open it and look how it's exploded how easy it was to open it show you how to make a duct tape wallet first I'm gonna cut out a bunch of duct tape pieces that's that's a different color in eight and a half inches we need to build a base that is seven inches from those eight and a half pieces first we're gonna put one like that and then we're gonna grab another piece beautiful one with the gummy bears it reminds me of my gummy vodka gummy bear video and I'm gonna duct tape it in half have you seen that vodka gummy bear video I did it long time ago then what you wanna do is fold it over and make sure you fold it over and try to not get any wrinkles just like that then we're gonna turn it over like that then we're gonna grab another gummy bear piece or some different color whatever you're gonna choose and duct tape it like this again try not to do any wrinkles turn it over then we're gonna grab this uh, silver one and duct tape it on a align it like try to align it as close as possible because and try to do without any wrinkles because the perfecter you're gonna do it perfecter perfecter I guess it's a new word the better it's gonna be then we're gonna grab another gummy bear piece and duct tape it align it and try to smooth it out so you won't get any wrinkles once again make sure like this one but that's okay then we're gonna grab a silver one again align it and place it again try to get no wrinkles whatsoever so then we're gonna turn it over so then I'm gonna grab another piece of tape so I'm gonna grab another piece of tape and put it down right here beautiful we're gonna flip it over one more time and then another one silver one go place it right here and look we got seven inches so now we're gonna grab this sticky part right here from the middle fold it and go to the sides so that way you hopefully you won't get any wrinkles now I'm gonna fold it in half and match these two lines in half and make a crease on the bottom that way whenever you're gonna cut it this extra part off it's gonna have uh, it's gonna match the other like every line and then you're gonna cut it right here in half boom easily and then you wanna cut it on this side as well Now we have to duct tape these two sides, grab a little piece of a duct tape, duct tape it in half like that and fold it over like this. And you see how you have a little extra over there, just open it and duct tape it inside, just like that. It will give you a little bit more endurance and more prettier. So we're gonna do same thing on this side, gonna put it about half on one side and half on the other side. Flip it over, open it and duct tape this inside to make it super cool. And now we're gonna fold it in half like that. Match two corners right here and right here and fold it, make a crease over there. So visibly you see the line over here folded line perfect now we're gonna put it aside and build another pieces like little pockets so we have to make little pockets like that so I already made one I'll show you the other one again we start with the small pieces like that and in half and then to put this one in half like that boom you're done now flip it over and do another piece right here and tape it this way right here 
flip it over we're gonna grab silver tape put it on like that flip it over and again gummy bears over here put it like this flip it over and close it it's gonna go like this so we can actually cut whole bunch off now we're gonna grab Motec tape and attach these pieces and make a pockets in our wallet so now we're gonna grab one of these pieces put it like that and we can start from here fold it in half like that then we can open it fold it inside for extra durability then we're gonna grab another 3 inch duct tape piece and put it over like this and inside something like that and now we gotta do it the same thing over here and it will create the pocket make sure you don't uh, duct tape this phone pocket right here okay we're gonna grab another duct tape piece with gummy bear and duct tape right here and if you have a little too extra duct tape just that duct tape this inside right here so you don't duct tape off the entrance now we're gonna do same thing over here okay and, and we're done now oops too much you see how and long if you get 